Hello YouTube and welcome back. We are here with chapter 8 of Celeste. Didn't even let the drop hit. I'm sorry. I stopped the pre-show early if you're watching this on YouTube. My bad. Um, but we have Coach and Murph. Thank you so much for hanging out, besties. How are you? Happy Sunday. Do we all have the Sunday scaries? Because I sure do. Okay. Um, also... Okay, I forget how to unlock the seasides. But, um, I guess that's a mystery for another day. Okay, chapter eight, core. Also, my allergies are so bad, so if I have to, like, mute my mic and turn off my video, it's because I'm, like, blowing my nose and I don't want to be gross. So, a year later, it said? Hey there, kiddo. Nice to see you again. Here's the cave I told you about on the phone. Follow me. Dang, how did Granny get past all this? Wait. Oh, I'm not getting my stuff back for some reason. That's really weird. Huh. What is this place? This passage leads to the center of the mountain. You said you wanted to come back and explore deeper. It doesn't get any deeper than this. Be careful though. When you get this close to the heart of the mountain, its power will start affecting you differently. Yeah, I already noticed some of that. Good luck in there. Where's that other part of you? I don't know. I expected her to show up by now. Maybe I've changed and maybe she's not part of me anymore. Or maybe you've grown together. Maybe it's not so easy for the mountain to separate you now. I'd wager she's still with you in some form. I like that theory better. I still wish I could talk to her, though. Do you keep in touch with Theo? Yeah, he spent the summer in Vancouver. We got to spend some quality time together. What's he up to these days? He's back in California with his family now. He wants to be around while his sister finishes law school. Sounds pretty intense, but he wants to be there to support her. Seems like a nice young man. It's been a while. How have you been? Oh, same old, same old. And in my case, that's pretty old. I'm not getting any younger, that's for sure. Some days just keep getting, uh, just keeping the lights on can take out all my energy. The mountain still keeps me sharp, though. I'm not ready to give up that ghost anytime s the ghost anytime soon. I'd expect no less from you. Take care of yourself. Oh, whoops. Always on the lookout for secrets. Always looking. Oh yeah, bitch. I remember this. Top of it. No, no, no.
guess that works. I guess we have to dash to that. That's fine. Okay, there's a lot of different ways we could go. Let's see. We go this way. Oh, but we those have to be cold. Yeah, we need to change the temperature somehow. I thought there were only two ways, like, go both ways, please explain. Wait, I thought there were only two ways, like, go both ways. I don't- wait, I don't get it. <laughs> Am I dense? <laughs> um, okay. I'm too pure. I'm too pure. <laughs> Hi, Ostrich. Welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday. Okay. This is gonna be a beach. I just know it. Wait, but we could have gone up. Really, there are three ways, if we're being honest. Death. Okay, yeah, this is what we needed. But really, we need to go... Hold on, wait, let me, um... Or maybe we should finish this path, then we can go the other way. Yeah, this is fucked. get that. <laughs> I've been corrupted through the internet, it's true. Um, wait, so like, is there nothing over there anymore? Yeah, I guess we're done with that part. Now we can go... There's a secret in there. Okay, so the walls that were like that propelled you up are like now just straight up ice. Yeah. Shoot. I was watching some other streamers VOD on Twitch and it kept hitting me with ads. That has to be a choice they are making, no? Um... Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't know. I think so. I have the option to, like, run additional ads and I think I get a little bit of money, but I never do it because, um... I, I don't care. <laughs> I just... It's annoying. Um... So I think, yeah, I think people, like there's a hot button that I have that's like, oh, do you want to run an ad? Um, and I just don't choose it. But I think also there are automated ones that even I can't opt in or out of. And as far as that, I don't know. Like, I don't know if people see those or not. But I also don't get like too much 
money from Twitch, like all the money that I earn from this is like completely from subscriptions and bits and donations and stuff. And so I think like, I think maybe I would get more if I like had more ads and stuff, but I, I don't want it to be like an ad heavy situation for y'all because that's not fun. Wait, so I gotta work my way all the way back? I guess we gotta just backtrack. Okay, yeah, so now we go left. Oh, this is fucked. Thank you for your insider info. You're welcome. It might also not be 100% accurate because that's what I need. Cause that's just from my experience, but, um, and I'm only an affiliate, like maybe partnered people have different, fuck, I just had to land on that, have different options and stuff, but yeah. I like it when a streamer takes a short break and they put up their break screen, they can run an ad during that time and nobody misses anything. Yeah, that's true. I just like, I rarely take breaks and when I do take breaks, I usually try and keep it super short, so. Okay. Get, get around. Madeline, please, Madeline. These things are so finicky, I swear to god. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. I, I need a dash after I get the strawberry. Also, I hope that doesn't come across as like me judging other people if they wanna run ads, like, Totally go for it, you know, get that money. But, um, Millie doesn't need bathroom ads because she's either a camel or has a catheter. Yeah, I just have a catheter that I hook up every stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I can only really go up here if these are frozen. I see. Nice. But personally, I felt judged. <laughs> Um, okay, looks like we gotta do it to him. Nice. That's really cool. No. No! Boy. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. Why did you need to switch to fire? So, um, on the previous level, there were those on the wall. There's these, like, little, like, I don't even know what they are, like, tentacle things or whatever, grabby things, and they propel you up. But if they're ice, then they just become completely ice, and um, you just slip slip down. So, wait, can I not flip these? I don't, I don't get that. Okay. Grabby tentacles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yikes. Wait, I did not read that as it was written. <laughs> Sketch. <laughs> oh my god, this is why this is why I do not have chat on the on the screen for YouTube because my YouTube channel is a Christian place. <laughs> Clipper agreeing with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, nice. 
So now... <gasps> Wait, no! That is fucked up, bro. That is fucked up. Uh... And for Twitch, thank you so much for the follow. Um... So it's gonna, it's really gonna make me do that every time. You know what? I need to, as soon as I get it, I need to, like, jump on these things. Or maybe we don't have to. Oh, hell no. I was about to say, oh hell yeah, and then I didn't make it. Oh hell no. Fuck. I mean, tentacles can be very not Christian. It's true, yeah. Ah. Okay, this is, this is ridiculous. Was I born just to suffer? Like, Jesus Christ. Clean, clean boys. See those grabby things? That's what I'm talking about. No shame, we don't kink shame on this channel. Oh, I need my other dash. Wait a second. I guess I didn't. I just didn't do it optimally. Okay, so we could go there somehow, but I don't know. Proofreading comments before saying them out loud. Why is that, Mel? It all goes back to Galley. <laughs> I don't even think Galley's here right now, but <laughs> we all know what he did. Okay, I need a da another dash somehow. Fuck. Yeah, that's the other thing is. How did I dash left when I was holding right? Um, these guys will like kill you to death. Okay, but like, what? Oh, I, I know, I almost had it, I almost had it. What level is this? This is chapter eight. This is like after the main story stuff. Oh, yeah. No. Hmm. Yeah, they'll kill me all the way to death. Man, that sucks, bruh. Yeah. Wait, how did I not get the thing back? Fuck. That's going to be a bitch to get. Okay, here we go. Okay, just fucking ram me into death. Fuck. How has my weekend been? Why, thank you for asking. It's been okay. 
I went grocery shopping and I got some croissants and I'm really excited about them for this week. Um, what else? I've just been doing work. Honestly, just studying. Trying not to think of Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god, the wall cock blocked me? Are you kidding me? Definitely not excited to go back to the office tomorrow, but you know. That fucking wall, bro. I gotta get like more horizontal with the thing. I got to sleep in. Very happy about that. Fuck me, man. <sighs> what else? I mowed the lawn on Friday. That was nice. Yes! <laughs> Bro, <laughs> fuck shaming. <laughs> Okay. That's cute. Thanks. Murph is the only considerate person in chat, true. Shout out, Murph. Murph, how has your weekend been? Give me all the deets. Um. Okay, I guess this is just kind of like fucking do whatever. Get over there. Yikes. Oh my gosh. I'm just, uh, nice to try and counterbalance all the a hole things I do. <laughs> Yeah, you're trying to get that good karma. I always think about that when I'm driving and I'm like, should I let this person in? Yeah, I want to like up my karma, my good karma a bit. Okay, what if we just said fuck your game and... Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, no. Try again, you bitch. <laughs> Uh, I try to have a carbon neutral footprint. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I'm wishing very bad karma on um, the people who sat next to me during the Taylor Swift concert. Did I tell you guys about that? Did I tell you about the shenanigans that happened? at the Taylor Swift concert. Because if not, I have some tea to spill about strangers that will never see this and I'll never see again and it literally doesn't matter, but um, we love to bitch about stuff. Okay, so like, I was, um, I got really, really good seats. I paid a lot. Not the smartest financial decision I've ever made. Uh, it's gonna be sitting on my credit card for, you know, a really long time. But it had to be done. Um, and so I was like in a row with some cool people. This like teenage girl gave me a friendship bracelet. Damn it, we're getting closer though. Um, but like not to, not to age shame because I don't know if age has to do with it, but um, there are these like 40 year old Karens like sitting behind me and they showed up I'm not kidding, they showed up shit-faced. Like, we all got at our seats at like six. The concert doesn't start till like eight. Um, and they showed up, like there were three of them, with each in, like, they each had two beers in their hands and they were already shit-faced, okay? And the whole concert, they were like sloshing their beers around and spilling it on me and the girl like next to me on the back of our legs. And we were like, hey, could you please like not spill beer on us? And they would be like, just really bratty about it. And then they would say shit like, I bet Taylor's not even playing the piano right now. Like, I bet she's not even playing the guitar. Like she's totally lip syncing. And it's like, girl, we're all fans. Like, why are you saying shit like this? Okay. 
So fast forward to like, it's towards the end of the concert and Taylor Swift, like I was at the very end of the stage, like where she comes out, like um, at the end of the catwalk and she's not really there a lot. So when she is there, we're all like just trying to focus, pay attention or whatever. I kid you, I kid you not. The woman behind me threw up all over the floor and it was like seeping under my chair and it was like about to touch my shoes. I didn't even notice the girl next to me like tapped me on the shoulder and she had written on her like iPhone what had happened because like we can't hear each other talking at this point. And she had typed me saying the woman next to you just threw up on the floor like it's about to touch your feet. We need to move. And I was like livid. I like looked back at her and like the three of them were just like shit faced, like just slumped over their chairs. And I'm like, why are you even fucking here? Like, I don't get it. And so thankfully there was a gap of seats in the row um, in front of us. And so everyone around us were like, um, they were really sweet. They like lifted us and helped us go to the next row. And they're like, honestly, just like take those seats. Cause like that sucks. Um, so that's one situation. And they, they just were so sloppy drunk. And I'm like, there is a million places in Philadelphia to be sloppy drunk. Like, why go to a Taylor Swift concert where people have paid so much money to be here? Like, it's a privilege to be able to go and, like, max out your credit card and see that shit, you know? Um, I don't know. And, like, not to stereotype, but it, they just came across as, like, these, like, old women with, like, nothing better to do than to, like, go to a concert and blow their money and get shit-faced and, like, shit-talk Taylor the whole time. And I don't know. If I'm like that in my 40s, like, please someone just fucking slap me across the face because, like, it's fucking annoying. The same... That same night, um... That was cool for a second thought I was gonna make it um while that was going on as well so there were two seats next to me to my right that weren't filled in except like an hour and a half into the show which it's only a three-hour show I shouldn't say only because it's a long show but like um halfway through the show this dad showed up oh hell yeah this dad showed up with his daughter and he was smoking a blunt the whole fucking time. He had like a bag of blunts. And I'm like, what is up with all these people in their like 40s and 50s just like showing up to a concert like high and drunk as fuck. And like not to sound uncool because like I definitely drink. I definitely have smoked weed. Like it's not a big deal. But like we're at a Taylor Swift concert and he kept blowing the smoke in my face. And he, and he would like try and be funny and he would like elbow me and be like this show sucks huh <laughs> and i'd be like sir <laughs> like sir please it's so annoying <laughs> uh, it was yeah it was really dumb so that happened i try not to let it take away from the show because the show was amazing but it's just really like cringe when people do this <laughs> what is wrong with people and i don't want to make it about age either because like that's it's not about that like i i really shouldn't say that but like the the optics of it all were just like what the fuck the other thing i saw um more on like the second night was like there was a there are a lot of like you know there's a mom with her daughter or, like a lot of dads with their daughters or whatever and the whole time like they would be recording their like daughter's face, like trying to god damn it, trying to get her reaction during the whole show, and like they would be like, "Are you having fun? Are you having fun?" And like this one dad had his like iPhone right in his daughter's face, like just filming her, and I'm like, just let her live. You could tell like a lot of them were uncomfortable about it or whatever. Um, but they didn't want to say anything because they're like my parent, you know, paid a bunch of money for me to be here. So I like, I don't know. And I'm not a parent. I have two dogs, which I know is not the same thing, but in my heart, it feels like the same thing. And I love recording the shit out of them, but it's only because they don't perceive me recording them and it doesn't take away from their experience, you know? I just can't imagine like kind of ruining that moment for a kid like making them have to like perform and be super I don't know like excitable or whatever and like have a camera on them the whole time 
just felt really shitty, but I guess that's like the new, this is the new age of parenting. I mean, I, I grew up with like technology, but not like that. Like my parents didn't have iPhones where they were like just recording everything I did. Um, I don't know. I feel, I already feel weird about like fam family vloggers and stuff. Like I feel like that shit is super unethical. And it just gave me those types of vibes, you know? Maybe I'm being dramatic about it, but... I don't know. Damn. Um, as an introvert type, I can't stand the- Are you having fun stuff? Same! I mean, I kind of get it from a parent wanting to make sure they give you something um, that you enjoy, but at the same time, like, yeah. Uh, I know I look like I hate my life, but yes, I'm actually enjoying myself. I am the same way. Like, yeah. And that's why birthdays are really weird for me. Cause like, I don't know. I'm like excited, but sometimes I feel like I have to like perform and be like super excited about a gift or something. And like, I genuinely am. And I do feel like I'm an expressive person, but sometimes I do feel that pressure of like, I need to be overly whatever. Um... Yeah, I think like with the concert thing, like just get a picture or two, but it doesn't need to be like the whole concert that you're filming your kid's face. I don't know. I feel really uncomfortable with it. Um. And then, yeah, and then I was there during the whole Taylor Swift, like, yelling at her security guard. Um, for being mean to a fan. That was crazy. Definitely was not expecting that. Um, what else happened? I had kind of a rough time getting home. This is like more of a darker story, but I stopped at a gas station in New Jersey. And like, maybe you guys know more than I do about this, but, um, I, cause I was looking into this later. Well, let me tell you the story first and then y'all can tell me if like, this is actually a thing. So it was like 3.30 in the morning and I was like an hour away from being home and I had to get gas. So I stopped in New Jersey before the, um, cause I had to pass through New York and I stopped to get gas before the bridge to go like through New York. And so, wait, was I supposed to change it to fire? Oh no, we're good. And it was like 3.30 in the morning and there was like nobody at this service station except for like this random guy and he was like standing by the gas pumps and um he kept like he walked up to my car and i was like hey can i help you and he was like it's full service but like he didn't look right like he clearly was i don't know like his it, it was like a it was a weird situation where i felt unsafe he clearly did not work there like clearly did not work there and I was like, no thanks, like, I'm fine. And he like still kept walking up to the car. And so I just got in my car and left. And as I like got in my car, he got so close to my car that like he tried to open like the backseat door. Um, and so I was stressing out and had to get gas elsewhere. But then I was looking up, I guess New Jersey is like one of the states that like you have to, like you can't pump the gas yourself. Cause I was Googling this. I was like, what does full service mean? Like, does that still exist or whatever? Cause I, I like knew about it. I feel like I've heard of it, but have never had that happen before. And I guess in some states it's like illegal to pump your own gas. But I was like, since fucking when? Like, why would that be illegal? Like, is this just something that I don't know about? Like, am I being dumb? Oregon is full service only. Why though? I don't, am I like missing something? I don't get that. Um, so then I was like, am I like a bitch for leaving? But like, clear he clearly did not work there. Like, 
maybe there was someone else there, but like he clearly did not work there. Um, so I don't know. Like, I guess the moral of the story is I'm never stopping for gas in New Jersey again because that's weird. I don't. I feel like that's. I feel like maybe during the day it would be fine if someone pumped my gas, but not at 3.30 in the morning when there's, it's literally just me and him and there's like nobody else in sight. And like, if I die, there's like no, nobody there to, to see it. <laughs> maybe it's a mafia thing. <laughs> also just trying to open the door. Yeah, that's the other thing is like, don't open my car door. I like, I have never gotten in my car so quickly, fam. Like, I was like, I'm not dying tonight. I gotta get home to my dogs. <laughs> So, that was not fun. But, if that's just, um, life as a women, it's not the first time that shit like that has happened to me, and it certainly won't be the last. Um, sorry, I don't want to bring the mood down, but I also feel like story times are sometimes fun. In retrospect, they're fun. Nice. Okay, we need to get on top of that a little bit more. What is like... Why would it be full service only though? Like, I guess... I don't know. I guess that like, gas is a dangerous substance, but... It's hard to fuck up pumping gas, though, fam. I don't know. Like, you turn your engine off and then you do it. <laughs> like, am I <laughs> am I underestimating how difficult it is to pump gas? Oh, that respawns. That's actually good. To know. You do the thing, and you do it right, and you don't fuck it up, and it works. What else happened on my trip? I think that was it. Those were like the three main things. Okay, I think I dashed when I didn't need to, so let's be better about that. Yeah, I like that. Um, it doesn't matter, even if he misread the situation and he wasn't actually trying to open your back door. Just being a woman justifies every time you feel unsafe, so don't feel you ever need to apologize for that. Oh, thank you. That actually f makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, I was like, I was stressing about it because I was like, oh, what if, like, he was just trying to help and I made him uncomfortable? But it's like, I should, I should put my safety first. Like, I felt unsafe and uncomfortable. I mean, like... Not, I, like, I don't want to bring the vibe down, but, like, yeah, everything about the situation was not okay. Like, he had his pants unzipped, and, like, one of his hands was in his pants, and, like, he just had no, like, nothing about him looked like he worked there. He clearly was just, like, there. So, I'm, I definitely, like, should have not stayed. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? I know. It was like, it was a really shitty situation. But he kept saying full service, full service. And I was like, what does that mean? Like, yeah. But, I don't know. Uh, oh, I could just get those two, actually. That's nice. Men need to be fucking better, period. Let's just all take a moment to imagine how fun women would be if no one ever got them assaulted. Yeah, I... Yeah, obviously, like, there are a lot of great men out there, but I do think that some men just really need to be more self-aware about how they're coming across, too. Like, one time I saw this, like, Reddit post that was trending that was a man talking about, like, um how he's sick of feeling like every time he's walking behind a woman, like he has to, he's paranoid that they're judging him for following her or whatever. And I'm like, that's like not, 
nearly as bad as being a woman thinking you're being followed all the time. And not to compare struggles, but like, yeah, being a woman at a gas station, I was like, I was fucking terrified. Um, but, yeah. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that strawberry. Maybe I shouldn't trigger that thing. And then I can just jump around it once I get it. Thanks other men for fucking everything up for the rest of us, it's true. Men's biggest fear is that a woman will hurt their feelings. Women's biggest fear is that a man will kill them. That's so true. Yeah. But for... For every, like, really shitty man out there, there's always, like, a really nice man as well. And, like, they are rare, but I've definitely been in situations where I felt unsafe, but, like, found a different man and was like, hey, can you, like, walk me to my car? Or, like, can you, can I just, like, stand next to you for a minute? And, like, it, it honestly, like, means the world. So I think, like, if men could just, like, be an advocate for women and, like, be... You know, just a person that, like, is just supportive, it, like, it honestly means the world, because, like, yeah, I've, I've definitely, I'm, like, still in situations where, like, shit will happen, and, um, it's stressful, it's stressful being a woman. Oh, hell yeah. Nice, we got it. Sorry, I hope I, <laughs> I hope I didn't bring the mood down. I feel like I like never talk about stuff like this, but I feel like it's good to chat about it sometimes, you know? It's good to get it off my chest. But I think, like, that's why I particularly really love streaming as well, because, like, it's my space and, like, we can, like, have jokes and, like, we can, um, like, be a supportive and fun community and whatever. And, like, I always feel safe. I always feel seen and feel like people care or whatever. Like, we can be, we obviously, like, we all make a bunch of jokes or whatever and I love that and I don't have to worry about anything and like I can look and dress however I want on stream and like it truly like I I don't care like it's totally chill but then out in the world I definitely like I'm a very different person I'm like not <laughs> not as like jokey or flirty or like um I don't know. I feel like when I'm out in the world, I'm always, like, wearing big sweatshirts and, like, sweatpants and stuff because I'm, like, don't look at me. But on stream, I can, like, completely be myself and, like, be whatever, you know? And, like, on my social medias, I can, like, be cute and, like, it's fine. So I do love the internet for that. Um, but then in, like, the real world, I'm, like, I don't feel that way. And it would be nice if it were, like, the same, you know? Okay, that is ridiculous going up. You saying it made you feel better will probably keep me feeling better for a while, so thanks for the opportunity. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Thank all of you for like being such a good community where I can like talk about shit and we can like support each other and stuff. Like Yeah, I feel like I don't usually say this, but like I don't know. Being like in my PhD program and stuff has like been super draining on me, especially like this year. And this has just been such a good outlet for me to just talk about stuff and get stuff off my chest and just let loose and um, yeah, y'all are the best. And I don't know how I'm gonna do that last sequence.
so close. That was so close. Each gender has their pros and cons. That's why they need each other to balance it out. For sure. Like, we all just need to, like, recognize the and, like, really validate and see the problems that other people have and just, like, support each other where we can, you know? Because, like, there are certainly privileges with being a woman as well. Like, women are way more liberated to be, you know, expressive with their thoughts and emotions and stuff. And so, like, women need to be an advocate for men to be able to be vulnerable and stuff. And so, like, we all just need to, like, use our privilege to bring other people up so that we can, like, hopefully create more equality, you know? I thought I should have gone up. Why did I go left? I have to go right. Damn, that is so hard. I think it's time to be real. We have been so real this stream. <laughs> this is the realest stream. Okay, let's be let's be real for a second. We can't be late because that's not being real. You, I'm always streaming during these be reels. Definitely not fake people. Oh, what the hell? On the brighter side, I got a lot of compliments on my outfits for the Eras tour, which I was so happy about because I worked really hard on them and my mom worked really hard on them too. She like helped me sew a bunch of stuff on them. And so that was really nice. I really appreciated that. Damn it. And there were a lot of like teenage girls who would stop me and compliment me. And like that means more than anything because teenage girls have very high standards. And I know this because I was a teenage girl. And like they tell it like it is. And if they don't like it, they will tell you. But the fact that like multiple of them told me that I slayed made me feel really nice. <laughs> Compliments in general are nice, but um, those meant a lot to me. Stan. Damn it. It definitely reminded me of the BTS concert, like that culture of just um, everyone being super like sweet. Except there were not drunk women at the BTS concert, so. <laughs> My feet were also killing me at the end. But it was worth it. I thought I had another dash. Damn. What time is it? We need to be cognizant of the time because I want to get to everything. And I'll probably do a poll for what we do next because I really want to do Cat Cafe and Subnautica, but we could also just do one. What the? I grabbed it though. What the hell? Uh. 
that sequence is so hard. I think I was doing it consistently, but now the timing is all off. Damn it. I think the sad part is that we're only, once I get to that part, I think I'm only like halfway through this whole like screen. <laughs> and did it. Are there any secrets? Okay, I feel like I have not been collecting any strawberries and I'm very concerned about it. Oh, no, wait. There we go. Well... That's cool. That's not cool. That's less cool. We don't even need those things, fam. We don't even need them. Wait, is there a strawberry up there? Sneaky spikes. Oh, I had to wait. I had to wait. This is insane. I forgot how insane chapter eight is. Gosh. There we go. Feathers? Feathers on the keyboard make me want to cry for real, for real. I almost want to plug my controller in just for the feather parts. What the hell, bro? That is so ridiculous. This is like a racing game at this point, like. What 
This is so nuts. Which reminds me, I just got walnuts and I'm really excited because I think I want to make chocolate chip cookies with walnuts. I think, I, I don't know, as a kid I used to hate um, like any type of nuts, like peanuts. Well, I think I liked peanuts, but I didn't like them I only like them as peanut butter, but like walnuts, pecans, anything, I was vehemently against. But now as an adult, I'm like, I want walnuts and pecans in my sweets. They are elite. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I really shouldn't just use my dashes all willy-nilly, you know? I'm not a huge nut fan, but I'll eat some cashews and pistachios. I hate nuts and salads. Um, yeah, I also don't like nuts and salads, actually. I like them in sweets, but not in salads. Um, I don't like pistachios, but I think it's because I'm allergic. Um, what else do I like? Cashews are like a staple food for vegans because you can pretty much make any like cream, cheese, whatever with cashews. But then at that point they like don't even taste like cashews. So. But yeah, I always have like a bunch of raw cashews in my kitchen at all times. Okay, I need to time this better. I was like, what if I needed to save a dash to get that? Okay, cool, I got the B-side. We'll probably split this up into episodes, so I won't do the B-side today. Oh snap, oh snap, oh snap. I think this is why I unlock C-sides too, right? This is it? This is what's at the center of all this? It's so empty and vast. Oh, shit. Yet it feels nostalgic somehow. And peaceful. We... Got him. Heart of the mountain. So cute. Let's see the damage. I bet there's a million strawberries I didn't get. Cute. I love her. I love her so much. I miss two? There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> what the fuck? Chapter nine. Oh, let's just jump. Um, okay, they're in this sequence. You know what? To save us the trouble, I'm gonna look them up because, um, uh, Celeste, chapter eight, strawberries. Because we have other stuff to attend to, and I just don't want to. Um, so what do I need? I need strawberries two and four. Oh, I gotta go up. Okay, 
I think I know where that is. I think this will be fast. Just kidding. I think because I'm a cheater is the phrase you're looking for. No, I've done this before. So actually I'm looking at my own guide. <laughs> I actually wrote the IGN guide, so. <laughs> it's not, it's not cheating if it's my own work. <laughs> Okay, it's right here, but I gotta make that, um... I gotta make that cold. Exactly, Calvin. I actually made this game, so... So it's all- it's all in here. Okay, let's see. Yeah! Oh, fuck. I remember this. Wait, so this has to be... Has to be ice. Oh my god. This is gonna be a process for sure. <laughs> I'm like a fucking football just getting thrown around. <laughs> Yeah, certainly pinball. Do y'all remember when computers used to come with um pinball and whatever the fuck? Now it's just solitaire. Which don't get me wrong, I love a good game of solitaire. And spider solitaire. Space pinball, yeah. Oh my god, I feel so old. Yes, Minesweeper! Minesweeper, best sweeper, so true. I really want to figure out a way to play all those like old Mac games. Those old, um, it's like the first Apple laptop. There was just like a bunch of random games. I remember, I remember we were talking about one when I was playing Tunic. It was that like racing one. And then there was like Ski Free. I don't know, like that era of games was like <laughs> peak gaming. <laughs> Those were so fun. Oh, I bet I could, oh. Dumb. Okay, maybe I don't need to use both my dashes over there then. Retro stream? I know! I want to do more retro streams. I wonder- yeah, I wonder if there's a way to get those games. Because it's also really nostalgic for me, too. Or I could play games that I've never played. And I, I know they wouldn't hit the same, but I do think it's like cool going back to like historic games. You have no idea the lengths I went through to get Sims 1. Like, that shit is so hard to get. And I think it's really shitty that it's so difficult to get because like that game is a historical game. Like, I do think it should be preserved. Um, I think it's so old that like it's not even illegal to torrent it or anything because like it like belongs to the people now, but, um, yeah. I am very excited to play the new Harvest Moon remake, Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. That's a retro game. 
I really want to play one of the OG roller coaster tycoons. I have the first one on my phone. It's on iOS. They ported it. I bought it. It's so fun. To this day, it's so fun. Oh, I should totally play that on stream. I would play Leisure Suit Larry again. I don't remember that one. Should I check it out? Yeah, it's on there. You should you should totally get it. It has everything. It's like the full game. <laughs> King's Quest. I think I have. Why does it sound familiar? I'm sure if I saw it. I'm sure if I saw it, I'd recognize it. Um, I also played Gothic, which is like a really old um, RPG. That was like... I think the I think the um publishers were in Germany or something. Um it was an adult king's quest. Oh, I see. Another one. Okay. The old WarioWare games are so good. Okay, I need to save my dash for the end. There's a bunch of King's Quests. I watched a speedrun video about them a few weeks ago. Interesting. Fuck, I used my dash. Oh, I could have just, I could do the same thing that I did getting here. Let's try that. Yeah, Frozen Fruits was one. Um, can you go over the spikes anymore? I think I can. I think I have to... Yeah, if I like go up a little bit, I think I can. So maybe that's the way. Yep, there we go. Um, what was I saying? Frozen Fruits was one that was fun to play on stream. Um, that music slaps, um, but that was a fun retro game. Their emulators play old games like the US and old Mac OS emulators. Oh, I want a, I want a Mac OS emulator. Actually, wait, what is this up here? I need that. Okay, let me look up the last one. Um, Strawberry 4. Oh, I know exactly where that is because I made this game after all. Okay, so we gotta go. We gotta keep progressing a little bit. Now I'm just doing that to flex. Um, did anyone play, like, these were, like, kids' games when I was a kid. Like, Pajama Sam or Freddy Fish or whatever. <laughs> I fucking love, those are my jam. Point and click era. Putt Putt, I think. That little purple car, whatever the fuck. Love that little car. I fucking love that little car. <laughs> Okay, I need to get like in that um, crawl space up there. There are a bunch of like other games that I can think of in my head that I just like don't remember. Did anyone play black and white? Okay, I should not have played that as a kid in retrospect, but that game was fucking metal. You basically were God and you had to like kill people. <laughs> Damn it. The only game I remember from the original Mac was Ancient Art of War, and my brother renamed um, the icon to Ancient Art of Fire. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, why does that sound familiar? So many good games. <laughs> I 
this guy at a full service gas station trying to play pajama sandwich, but I ran away. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, literally same. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck happened to me? It's like the original real-time strategy game. Oh, uh, what is when? Yeah, I, I feel like that sounds familiar. Maybe I, maybe I know of it. There was also, um... Remember the Oregon Trail? <laughs> That's so random. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Maybe there was a remake of it, actually. And wasn't there one called like, I, I don't remember, you had like a party of four. It wasn't Final Fantasy, but it was like, kind of like a bootleg one. It was almost like the first one of its kind like that. Oregon Trail rocks. You died century, yes. Your school made you play, wait, your school made you play Oregon Trail? My school made me like shoot a gun. <laughs> My, these like cool schools would make you play video games and like my school made you like go to a shooting range and shoot a gun. <laughs> huh? I know. I grew up in Michigan where like we literally, I think there were like five designated days in the school year that were like, no, it was like statewide no school for like hunting. <laughs> Fucking dumb. And um... Wait, what happened? Where is the strawberry? Do these bitches have to be fire? Um, and so one time for a school field trip, like we went to a shooting range. I was like in fifth grade and we had to each like shoot a rifle or something. It was like fucks. <laughs> was so dumb. I could have been playing video games? Damn. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Oregon Trail was brutal though. I remember being traumatized by that. I also played the original Diablo as a kid, which in retrospect I think is like not the best idea. That's what I have to do. That's fucked. Okay, cool. I think we're done. Now we can stop this madness. Hell yeah. Did I get all the strawberries? Or I guess. Um, okay, well let me end the recording really quick for YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for sticking around these crazy stories and all of my failures um, on this chapter, but I'll be back with a B-side very soon. <laughs>